Mother abandoned her baby in a dish sink. Years later, she got a surprise, leaving her speechless. This is the story of a 21-year-old woman who became a mother at an early age. Her name is Lucia, and she was the daughter of one of the richest persons in Chile. The young woman always did what she wanted. She humiliated people and slept with the man she liked. She drank and woke up until one day God sent her a blessing that it was a baby and she took it this way. Join us to see this story. Lucia Andrada was a young girl whose parents gave her everything from a very young age. She got used to it badly and she always thought that by having money she could humiliate anyone who crossed her path. Her mother's name was Clemencia and she owned one of the most exclusive jewelry stores in Chile and her father was a great deputy from that country. Lucia lived in a huge mansion, and both she and her parents liked to insult their domestic employees, who often remained silent for fear that they might be fired from work. Monday would arrive, and the Andradas had come from a business trip from the Caribbean and found the house in a mess. Immediately, Mrs. Clemencia went to the gardener of the house, a very humble man, to whom she said, Listen, you disgusting old man, what happened in my garden? And the old man, very scared, replied, Miss Clemency, I had nothing to do with it. Miss Lucia had a meeting with all her friends, and that's why they left everything in a very bad state. The lady told him, Don't be a liar, you old drool. Now get out of here. Mrs. Clemencia did not care that her gardener was already older than her and would kneel in front of her, and hitting him, she threw him out of her house immediately. Mrs. Clemency, in a very loud voice, told all the employees, Anyone who knows of a gardener, let me know. Seeing that there was no longer a gardener in the mansion, the chef of that house decided to talk to her son, saying, Fernando, in the house where I work, they need a gardener. You are young and you need that job. Introduce yourself. Just don't say that I am your mother. Fernando was 20 years old and a young man with a very attractive physique, and he decided to approach the mansion, saying to Miss Clemencia, Excuse me, I saw an ad that you're looking for a gardener, and the truth is I need to work. When Mrs. Clemencia saw him, she realized that he was a very handsome young man, so she would give him the job. She began to explain what she wanted in her garden. Night would come and both spouses would go on vacation for a week, leaving Lucia alone to do whatever she wanted. Until Saturday, very early, Fernando would come home from work and Lucia got out of a taxi, very dizzy, and said to him, Who are you? What are you doing at the door of my house? And Fernando said, Nice to meet you, miss. I'm the new gardener of your house. Lucia was shocked by the beauty of that young man and she decided to cancel any meeting she had and she only said to herself, I'll take this one to bed. Poor Fernando, very much in love with her, fell into Lucia's clutches and ended up being intimate with her, where that young woman, after fulfilling her mission, decided to kick him out of the mansion. Days passed and Lucia would receive the saddest news of her life, and it was that her parents' private flight, unfortunately, had crashed into the sea due to a lack of fuel. The young girl could not believe that her parents would no longer be with her, and she would also be the owner of their entire fortune. The funeral was private, where the girl did not want to be condolences, and she just wanted to be alone. At that moment, the house chef, seeing that Lucia was alone, decided to approach her, saying, Miss, I made you a soup. Do you want to eat? Please open the door for me. She looked very haggard, and her face was haggard. She said to Guillermina, the chef, I feel very bad. I have nausea. Guillermina, very scared, told Lucia that if she suddenly wasn't pregnant, Lucia, upon hearing, said, I don't think so. Months passed and Lucia did not get her period, and when the test was taken she was very sad. She affirmed that she was pregnant, and her last man had been the gardener, that handsome young man. So when she got home she immediately called the chef and told her, Guillermina, I'm pregnant, but I don't want this baby. The chef told her, Miss, but it's a blessing from God. Don't throw it away. Then Lucia reconsidered and only said, Okay, I'll have him, but later you take him and give him up for adoption. I don't want them to know that my son's father was a gardener. Guillermina, very astonished, couldn't believe it, and she just remained silent. Nine months would come and the same chef would help Lucia to take her to a hospital so that she could give birth, where she would give birth to a very beautiful baby named Mateo. Guillermina decided to stay in the house when she saw that the little baby was her grandson, and when she saw that Lucia did not care for the baby, much less breastfeed her. Months passed and Lucia had returned to the parties where she met a very handsome but very arrogant young man who also slept with her and saw a baby, saying, Who is this baby? You told me you didn't have children. Lucia, very scared, told him, He's the employee's son, but I'll immediately leave him in his crib. At that time, there was no one, because Guillermina had gone out to buy things for little Mateo, and then Lucia decided to take the little boy and put him in the sink with the dishes. Hours passed and passed, 
and Lucia had been fulfilling her most intimate fantasies with the person she liked, even if little Matteo was crying. Upon arrival, Guillermina saw that the baby was crying on the verge of drowning, and the body was very cold. The next day, very sad, Guillermina told Lucia, Miss Lucia, Matteo is very sick, and he's only six months old. It's not the first time. Don't be so mean. Lucia replied, I told you to take him for adoption, and get the hell out of here too, you newsy old woman. The lady took the child to her house, since her son, Fernando, had unfortunately died three months ago in a car accident, and little Matteo was very similar to his father when he was a child and was the only memory of her son. As a result of the fact that his bad mother, like Lucia, put the baby in the dishwater many times, he developed an eye disease and could not see. But that was not an impediment for the lady, who after a while would go to work in a private clinic run by good-hearted doctors who were very fond of him. Guillermina, on one occasion, seeing that her grandson was growing up and was five years old, approached the doctor, saying, Doctors, excuse the trust, but I have a grandson who cannot see because of his mother's irresponsibility. That happened when he was six months old, and he's already five years old. Please help me. Count my salary as necessary. The doctors, seeing her crying and desperate, helped her and checked on her youngest, saying to Guillermina, Don't worry, Guillermina, we won't charge you anything, and we'll help you, but he will recover his vision. As the years passed, Matteo became a great architect and would give Guillermina his best, and they always visited the doctors, who were now his age, advanced in years by the time that had passed. Matteo and his grandmother entered without realizing that the doctors were interviewing a woman. When the lady they were interviewing turned around, she said, Guillermina, is that you? What is your life? Nice to see you. And who is that handsome boy? Guillermina, very scared and nervous but with courage, told her, This is your son, the one you left washing dishes, and he is my grandson, because the gardener you used was my son, who unfortunately passed away. Lucia replied, So you never fulfilled what I told you about giving him up for adoption? I wouldn't have had such a bad heart as you, Miss Lucia. Lucia approached her son and said, Please forgive me, my son. I didn't know what I was doing. She was a very crazy young woman. Please forgive me. The young man looked at her and said, Ma'am, I forgive you, but I don't want to hear from you. My mother told me the truth, but I don't want to hear from you. Come on, mother. Then he left with Guillermina, while the doctors who were interviewing him for the cleaning job, upon hearing what Matteo said, told him that they couldn't give him the job. Lucia was left without money, without a house, and without a fortune, all because of the bad life she led, and because of that, man told her to make her son disappear, a man who ultimately left her on the street. Now tell me, do you think what Matteo did was right? Friends, here ends our story for today. If you liked it, give us a like, leave us your valuable comment, and we invite you to share with your friends. Subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell so that YouTube always notifies you when we have new material. And don't forget that you have an appointment with us in the next story. See you soon.